Hi everybody, today we are going to do Southern Sausage and Rice. I hope you guys are doing well today. It's Saturday, so we're gonna just do some sides. Sides are just as important as the main protein, so we're gonna just get started, okay? Before we get started, guys, if you like the content that I've been creating, give me a thumbs up in this video and also go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel so that when I do put up new, new videos, you guys will be able to see the new videos. So we're gonna get started. Like I said, we're gonna make Southern sausage and rice today and uh, let's get into it. So first we're going to add some, some olive oil I'm gonna heat up the pan first. Put it on medium low. Get yourself a nice medium size rice pot. And we're gonna add about, I'd say about two tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it around so that the bottom is coated well. And then we're gonna add some sausage. Here's where things, you can use a little variety here when you're making this dish. If, today I'm using pork sausage but if you are a person who don't like pork sausage, you could use turkey sausage if you want it. They also have chicken sausage if you want. But today I'm using pork sausage. So you want to have the sausage that are uh, in a roll or that comes in bulk. And you want to just separate it a little bit and you want to put it in the pan in little crumbles so that it will cook down and render. So I'm just breaking it up and adding it to my pan. And the idea is for it to just cook down in crumbles, small crumbles. I'm wearing gloves, it's just easier on the hand. If you are taking the sausage in your hands and crumbling it up in your hand, it could get a little messy. So I just wear gloves. If you wanted to, to make it easier, you can just take the sausage out of the pack and just put it in the pan and then break it up as it cooks. So there would be less cleanup and it would be easier on your hands. So I've got about a pound of sausage so that's that's about enough to give you about a cup a cup and a half of rice to go with this recipe so we've got all of our sausage in the pan and now we could remove our gloves Then we're just gonna keep an eye on our sausage. We have it on medium low. And we're gonna just let that cook. It's gonna grab grab a spoon to make sure that the sausage are cooking. You want to just move it around as it's cooking so it doesn't stick to the pan. Wow, that's smelling really good. Really good. So, yeah, you want to just move it around and make sure they're in little crumbles. It should look like that, guys. See that? Little crumbles. Okay, so we'll let it cook until it's done. Let it brown going to take about 10 minutes so I'm going to add the top back to that so while that's 
cooking, we are going to do the rest of the prep for the, for the dish. So here I have an onion. A medium sized onion is good. I'm just gonna chop it up into small dice so that once our rice is ready to go in, we'll have the onion ready as well. So you wanna just chop this into small dice, being careful not to cut yourself. This is a dish that I had growing up. My mother would make it sometimes on holidays, sometimes during the year. So I like to make it as well. It's one of those Southern dishes that you could really do all throughout the year. Um, I've made it with turkey sausage. I've made it with mushrooms. You could also make it with just ground beef if you didn't like uh, sausage at all. So you can do ground turkey. It really is up to you. My mother always made it with pork, sa pork sausages. And I don't know if y'all guys remember, but they are still around. She used to make it with pork sausages. Pork sausages have a good flavor. You know, you know the ones in the red bag, the hot sagey ones. Those are the ones that my mother always used. So, um, you know, that just reminds me of her when I cook this rice dish. Um, just reminds me of her and the way she used to make it. So it's really up to you what you want to use in the dish. But traditionally, she always used a spicy sausage because that adds to the flavor of the rice. So that's what we did. But when you make it, you make it how you like it. If you don't like spice, you can use a sausage that is on the milder side. It's really up to you what you what you prefer to do. So, we are just about done with our onions. We have them at a small dice here and they're going to cook up in the rice to give it a good flavor. So we're just chopping away, making sure that they are a good size and not too big, because you want them to cook up in the rice. So let's check on our sausage. We don't want them to burn. It's looking good, it's looking good guys. So we're doing good here with the sausage. You're gonna need another few minutes. And as they're cooking, they're browning. I am breaking them up a little bit to give it a little bit more room to get caramelized on the bottom. You want them to get a little brown. You don't want them to boil. You want them to caramelize a little bit because that's going to add to the flavor of the final rice dish. So you want them to brown. And these days, the way they're making sausage, they're not as fatty as they used to be uh, many years ago. Many years ago, a lot of sauces used to have a lot of fat in them um, and, and not a lot of flavor. But today the sausages are a lot more lean and not as much fat. So I like that. But then, you know, sometimes some of the fat adds a little flavor. So here we are going to substitute some flavor with some chicken bouillon to add flavor to our rice. So this is just about done, guys. We're gonna give it a few more minutes while we get all of the other ingredients ready to add to our dish. It's looking good, though. It's looking good, guys. Okay. So 
we're going to finish up our onions here. Last little bit. Okay, I think we have enough onions for the dish. And we're gonna set this aside because we've got enough. Okay. So let's add the onions to our sausage. Okay guys, so our sausage is looking delicious. They have caramelized. We've got a little fond on the bottom of the pan. Let me show you guys what that's looking like. You see the fond on the bottom of the pan, the brown stuff at the top of the pan? You want a little of that because that's going to add a little flavor to the dish. You want your sausage to look about like that, okay? So we have that here. We are going to add the onions. There's a little bit of fat at the bottom of the pan. I'm going to say about a teaspoon and a half back there, under there. But I'm going to leave that because we're going to use that fat to fry the onions and the green peppers that we're going to add to the, to the dish. So the chopped onions that we just did, they're going in now. I'm gonna add that to the sausage and stir it in. And let that cook just for a minute. Just, you wanna mix it in with the sausage and the residual fat that's on the bottom of the pan. Stir it in. Okay guys, the next thing that's gonna go in is chopped green peppers and onions. So I've got some chopped green peppers and onions here. Just gonna add them in. And that's about a half a cup of chopped green peppers, chopped green and red peppers as well. Wow, it smells amazing in here. This is like one of those dishes that reminds me of Thanksgiving when you're making uh, when you're making stuffing for the turkey. So this is how I start my stuffing with uh, onions and green peppers and sausage and then cornbread. But around Thanksgiving and the holidays, guys, I'm going to do a stuffing recipe for you and I'm going to put it up. On my channel so we've got the green peppers in here so far we've got the sausage and we've also got the onions the next thing we're going to add is we're going to add about a cup of rice so we want to add the rice directly right into the pan so you're going to add a cup of you can add brown rice if you don't eat white rice you can add um white rice you can add basmati rice now keep in mind if you add basmati rice it's going to make it a little lighter but um you can add you know up to you what kind of rice that you guys like in your home i generally like to use long grain rice white rice or brown rice so those are the rices that i generally use in my house so i've added about a cup of rice and we're just stirring it in. And I'm gonna show you guys what it should look like after you've added your onions, your green pepper, and your sausage. So here's what it looks like now, guys. You see, it looks so good. Looks really good. So this is what it looks like. Okay, you wanna give it a stir and make sure the rice is coated with the sausage and the onions and the rice. So once you've got everything coated, you want to add about a teaspoon of 
soy sauce. You want to add the no salt soy sauce though. Because the sausage has salt in it and so does the soy sauce. You don't want to add soy sauce that has salt. Now the soy sauce is going to help with the color as well as give it more flavor. So you want to stir again so that the soy sauce is helping the sausage and the rice with a uniform brown color. So once you've got all that stirred in together, you want to add just about a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. That's going to give the rice flavor also. Now what we want to do is give that a stir and the last thing we want to add is a little bit of water so that the rice can cook with the sausage and the peppers and the onion. We're going to add about a cup and a half of water. And you want to just scrape down your sides so that everything is mixed in. Okay, now that we've got it all mixed in, we're going to add some cracked black pepper. And then we'll let it cook. Now this is just about ready to cook. I'm going to add some black pepper. Some black pepper. Now you want to be careful about how much black pepper you add because if you're using the spicy sausage here, you want to be mindful about how much black pepper you're using because you don't want the rice to be so hot that you're not going to be able to eat it. So if you're adding black pepper, then just be mindful about the amount that you're adding here. You could even skip it if you didn't like spice. You can just uh, leave it as is. So we've added a little water. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, so now we have got everything in, in there and we just need to let it cook. This is what it look, should look like, guys, when you're ready to cook it. So. That's what it should look like before you are putting the top on. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put the top on and let it cook for about 20 minutes. I have the temperature or the eye on medium low. We're gonna let it boil and then we're gonna reduce the heat to low and let it cook for another 15 minutes. When I come back, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Be right back. All right, guys, let's check the rice and see what it's doing. Looks like it's done. Ooh, looks good. All right, let's give it a taste, y'all. Let's see here.
Okay guys, this is what it looks like. Let's give it a taste. It's hot. It smells delicious though. Don't want to burn my mouth. Mmm. It's like I remember. So good. I could taste the green pepper. I could taste the sausage. It's not too spicy. The onions give it a little bit of sweetness. And that little bit of soy sauce side helps the rice get brown. It's so good. Y'all gotta make this. Well, guys, enjoy. Listen, if you like recipes like this, go to my YouTube channel at In the Kitchen with Alethea and subscribe to my channel. If you like recipes like this, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Until next time, bye.